Yo, what's going on, gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we're back with some more Star Wars Empire War Fall of the Republic mod. Now, we are doing actually pretty well here. We're, we're having a good game. Lots of people in the last episode said, Daily, it's time to take for roast. And I completely agree. This would take away a whole lot of power from the Separatist forces. So uh, we're going to make a probe droid at Coruscant and look into doing that. Uh, while we do that, if you guys wouldn't mind, just just giving that, that like button just a little, just a little, you know, just smash that like button. Just a little. That would be uh, very helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment on down below any tips, tricks, strategies you guys would like me to try out. Additionally, another thing people kept on saying was it's about dang time uh, that we upgrade to Phase 2 Clone Trooper Armor. Now, I completely agree with that. Uh, I think it is about time we do that. Uh, however, we're, we're a little broke right now. We spent a lot of money on our conquests here, uh, so we're going to have to wait just a smidge for that. Uh, we're we're going to have to hold off on that for a, for a tight little second here, boys. But uh, we'll get around to it. Not to worry. We will get, get her done, if you will. Um, but before we do that... Uh, okay, there's our probe droid ready. Let's move it on over to Ferost and see what we're going up against. A lot. Okay. Wow. That is, um, that's a lot of enemies right there. But I think we could do it. What we need to do is move our soldiers from Humberine over to Coruscant. And then we're also going to have our Empress Teta uh, fleet here attack with them. And then we should be able to take over Ferost with the combined power, the military might, if you will, of two fleets. It should be, uh, you know, doable at the very least. Doable at the very least. So, let's do this. Uh, first of all, scout ship. You guys know it. It's scout ship time, baby. Um, in addition to that, why don't we toss them just one more little Venator from Coruscant's garrison. And now, we're going to have to time this. Did that work? No. Okay. Time it well. Okay, we timed it well. Oh! But the other fleet made it there first. Okay. I think the other fleet should make it as reinforcements. I believe. But if that... We'll, we'll wait a moment. We'll listen and see if that ends up being true. Let's hear... This used to be a judicial ship, you know. I don't... Your reinforcements. I don't think the reinforcements are actually going to arrive. I think that's a mistake on my part. Alright. Alright, in that case... We will retreat here. Call for a retreat! Alright. We're retreating out of here. Yeah, we're not going to take on all of this with the smaller of the two mega fleets. But I actually think that maybe uh, the main mega fleet that we sent over here from Coruscant will be able to do this. It's also going to come in regardless. Yeah, imminent. see, it came in anyway. Um, actually, it says that it's smaller than the enemy fleet, even though I thought for some reason it would be bigger. But let's just check the power balance here. So we've got ourselves... The, the tiny little scout ship. That's not very helpful. But, um, okay, so they have the big space station. That's going to be a target. Um, but other than that, I mean... A lot of their ships here are on the weaker side. So we might actually just be able to do this. Your reinforcements. I, I say we go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, we go for it. All right, so... Big Chungish fleet ship. We just drop that in as hard as we can right there. No like absolute mic drop right vehicle. there. On top of that, the Venators Cruising speed. on the sides. Copy. But still sort of sticking together. We're, we're flanking, but simultaneously Copy. making sure we're sticking together. But that's actually all we can afford right there. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right. So there will be chaos at first. There will be chaos at first, uh, and we will take some damage here. But then once our fighters get activated, which should take a just a smidge of time here, uh, then we might be able to 
clap back a little bit more. Oh my goodness, this is already probably the largest space battle we have ever fought in this campaign. This is some intensity right here. Wow! All right, so let's see. Pause for a second. We're going to take this slow and steady. Um, yeah, we'll hunt our fighters. We'll go ahead and do the jamming sensors. Uh, we'll do the full salvo. We'll do the full salvo because we need uh, heavy impacts right now. I believe that is what we need. Uh, and beyond that, I mean, there's not a ton we can do here beyond just sort of sitting and watching. You know, this is... This is what this battle is comprised of. It, it's massive, but there's not that much we can do strategically. I mean, we can't even get in reinforcements, so it is what it is. All right, lots of our ships here taking some sustained damage. Let's start. Let's start heavy targeting. Let's start heavy targeting, and I think first target off ought to be the uh, the big Chungus ship right there. Uh, except for this ship on the side here, it might end up going down. Why don't you lock on target there, you lock on target there. You're also going down pretty heavily, you lock on target there. These guys seem to be doing a little bit better, so we will uh, full on attack this here. Ooh, this thing is uh, looking worse for wear, man. Yikes, dude. Not looking too great, not looking too great, dude. Yikes, yikes, no. You're okay. Stay alive, friend. Oh, he taking some hits, dude. Oh, and there she blows. Yikes, buddy. All right. Uh-oh. Am I stuck on... No, I'm not stuck. All right. That boy went down. Uh, but that means we can actually get reinforcements in, which is good. That's a good thing. Uh, so let's actually get some body blocking ships in here, as well as we'll send in uh, this repair ship and then once it's in there we're gonna immediately use that uh, repair vehicle function and we just sort of tossed it in the middle so it should have a pretty good range there we go that was decent that was decent all right you guys need to focus on this ship that's in our back lines right now because it is causing some problems causing some serious problems all right jam radars again just mid battle here see if that does anything Ooh. this is uh this is a spicy one. This is indeed a spicy one. Look, our massive ship is literally inside their massive ship. Oh, we took it down. Oh, massive chungus. All right, focus fire that, please. This is good. This is good. All right, baby. Whew. Intensity happening right now. Somehow our bigger ships are still staying in the fight, too, which is great. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, take out this big boy. As a, as a big chungus ship right there. Ooh, that little one over there is almost dead too. Why don't you guys focus fire that stuff? We're, we're somehow staying in this. We are staying in this, so... I am I am currently happy. There we go. We're taking out many enemy ships here. Okay. Our very large ship has lost all shields. You don't like to see that, do you? Alright, take out that ship. Ooh, there goes another ship. That's fine. Bring in reinforcements immediately. This is going to be a loss filled battle, but if we take Ferost here, that's going to be big. There goes one of their big ships, and that second one should go down here in just a second. There we go. We did lose one of our own, but that's okay. Uh, we can pull in, actually, another Venator here. This is actually going to be a Command Venator, which I am fine with. All right, good. We're going to have this focus fire on their big boy ship right there why don't you guys take out some of these smaller ones that are just doing a lot of damage but they're not they're not exactly very powerful but they're just doing a lot of damage because we're not taking care of them so we're gonna eliminate those real quick just the little boys that need to need to be brought down a peg we could we could do a lot of that really quick here there we go yeah we're just we're just nailing them one at a time I should have done this a while back they're just doing damage to us uh, with no repercussions and that's something we, we can't allow here we got to take them down. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Take out that little one now, too. Uh, let's also go ahead and get in a couple more ships here. We can actually do the repair feature with this one here. All right. Almost. There we go. Repair function. Good. And that will help all of our smaller ships. There we go. We took that out. Now take out the big one over here. Up, 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 up. There we go. All right. Now take out the big, the big ship back here. 
location. The final ship. Yes, Alright, actually, you should peel coming. off and try and run away. Ugh, I don't think he's going to make it. <sighs> yeah, nah, he's go. down. That's okay, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Full salvo. Why don't you guys target that little one, though? And it's almost dead. There we are. Good. All right. Now, uh, ooh, one last Venator is what we got here. There we go. Get in there. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I think this is going to be a dubski. It's just taking a little bit of time here. It's just taking a little bit of time here. You know what? Use the full full mode there and just wipe her off the face of the earth. Come on. Make it happen. Whew. Extreme losses in this, but Ferost is a high target planet. This is going to be really good to take. This is going to be big chungus to take right here. Almost got it. Almost got it. And there we go. Woo! Big chungus moves, boys. That's what we like to see. The chungus is large today. You love it. You just got to love it. Okay. We did lose one victory, one star destroyer, and two venators. That's actually pretty costly. Uh, but look, I mean, we just wiped out so much of theirs. We just wiped out so much of theirs. So I don't even care, dude. Easy clap. Um, okay. So that fleet actually retreated back to Coruscant. I'm not even too mad about that. I might keep most of them at Coruscant. And, uh, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Um, now, the, uh, the landing units, Ja. That is something we need. Um, let's take a little bit of a little bit of this goodness. Construction oh, complete. They actually, the independent forces have conquered Fondor. I was not expecting that to happen. All right, Quats, uh, boys, why don't we send y'all to Ferost? And then I kn I know we we have a ground fleet. I just don't remember where we left her. Where'd we leave those boys? Is it Telty? Nope, not Telty. What did we do with them? Oh, Empress Teta. That's where they are. Extract from Empress Teta. Bring her around. Plo. That boy. That. That. Empress Teta is about to be defenseless, so... Why don't we actually move this Coruscant fleet there? And then we'll move the Empress Teta you people to Ferost. You once claimed to be. And then we're gonna go into Ferost. Invasion there we go. All right. Let's begin. Let us begin the invasion force. Yes. That would be very nice. <laughs> French accent. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I am weird. All right. So we got swamp speeders on the ground already. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some infantry with them. Uh, we'll get that big boy. And that's going to be unit capacity already. Okay. That's fine. Apparently there's factories over here. Let's, do this. Let's go ahead and build ourselves the medic Once station the there. And let's start pushing out with our uh, our forces already. Let's just get going. Alright, hostiles in the area. Ooh, they love these crab droids, man. I swear, half of what we see on the battlefield is always crab droids. They always bring in the crab droids. They really love those crab droids. All right, we'll actually have the big chungus go alone to the left and have these guys go uh, together to the right. That might actually be a good idea. Um, we'll also leave one squad at the base itself. Okay, Swamp Speeder is discovering many, many lethal things over here, huh? Okay. Oh, are those enemy ships? I believe they are. All right, our big chungus over here is taking some damage. Maybe I will send these squads to help it out. Get some infantry to them. Uh, but then these guys are coming through over this way. So they'll be able to help out quite a bit. We'll drop some proximity mines right there. And that'll be pretty good. Then they can't really rush us. Okay, they have... They have those. That's... Okay, we're losing units. Um. Oh, dear lord. They have ships. I hate gunships, dude! Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, you're getting beat up. Retreat back. Y'all are getting beat up too. Retreat back. I don't think we could do this. 
I think we got to retreat. I think we need a bigger force. They have some intense defenses here. Intense defenses. Yeah, retreat on back here, guys. We're retreating out of this. This is... Look at that. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water, and I'll be right back, and we'll continue our problem here. Okay, water has been achieved. Let's return to the galactic map here. Um, all right, so... I think we need more forces, in all honesty. Um, and I, I think we just got to... We got to get phase one troopers from Camino because I, I know it's not what I said I was going to do, but I need to spend our money on other things right now other than that. Um, I think that's going to be very important. Okay, so we do have two more of these at, at Kuat right now, and I think we should probably send them somewhere around here. Um, uh, maybe Emberlene. Uh, we need more Venators in different places, you know what I'm saying? We need, we need to spread out our force a little bit more. Uh, cause we're not always gonna have the Mega Fleet, like, readily available in a certain sector, you know what I'm saying? I also got a lot of comments saying I should build a second one of these Praetor Mark I class ships. And so we'll do that right now, because people wanted me to send it towards Kamino. Uh, since Camino really doesn't have any big ships that can just, like, defend an area. You know, you need those hard stop ships. Ships that will just, like, stop an invasion force. Ooh, Tatooine has a bunch of troopers for us, actually. Let's send those up here. And we can send them up to, uh, uh, this. This force. Okay. That's actually going to take a while to get there, because that is as far away as possible <laughs> actually now Tatooine has nothing we should probably get something for Tatooine to be honest um but we can get ourselves some things oh I don't want the shield right that's such a waste of money I want that yeah buddy oh we should also do a double check all across the galaxy uh for any tax collect collecting agencies or uh senate offices that we can get those are always very important. Also, level one space stations uh, are going to be key as well. Um, we definitely want those. Yeah, I think we're actually looking pretty good right now, to be honest, in, in most sectors of the galaxy. We're doing pretty well, man. All right, well, we're just sort of buying time until that, that fleet gets there. You can see them, they're moving. We're sort of following them as we check to make sure the Senate officers are all good and stuff like that. They're slowly but surely planet hopping <laughs> until they get there. Here they come, look, they're going to Alderaan. <laughs> I think what we actually ended up doing partially is we shattered the CIS a little bit. They were attacking us literally every turn for a while there, but right now they've been pretty quiet. So I think we took out actually a lot of their powerful fleets and stuff like that. Uh, which resulted in them not really being able to do nearly as much as they wanted to. Okay, so we got those guys there. So we're actually going to combine them with this. And that uh, should be a very powerful force to get down with. So this is going to be an intense one. I don't think this is one where we could just sort of blitzkrieg the enemy forces. Uh, I, I don't think lightning will work here. I think instead uh, we must do a bit more of a defensive thing. So... Uh, the AV cannon is the first on the battlefield. Weird choice, but okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a bit of a defensive stance here to start us off. And uh, we will build that. We're also going to go ahead and build a few um, anti-aircraft guns in these various areas. Uh, and that will take care of their gunships. I want those gunships dead first things first. And we can almost guarantee... The Seppies will attack us. There they are. All right, build those anti-aircraft guns right now. And, uh, oh, we're actually going to scrap this thing without it anyway, which will be good. Oh, they just destroyed both of our AA guns immediately. You got to be kidding me, man. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, everyone come on forward here. Split up between the two sides here. Let's get another AA gun there. Try and build that. Nope, it's dead again. They are really knocking that out as fast as they possibly can. I think we should be able to take it out without those guns, though. It's possible here. Just maybe. Come on. Maybe not, honestly. Let's push them back. 
We're going to try and push them back here a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to build them. Build them. Build them. Come on, fellas. Let's get that building done. It's not building for some reason. Why aren't you building? Apparently, it just keeps getting destroyed. All right, don't go too far ahead. Don't don't go too far ahead. Retreat back. Retreat back. Build that turret. Build that tur tur. <laughs> Build the tur. And now everyone retreat back here as the turret slowly but surely gets built. All right, now everyone collect around the turret, and we're gonna draw in their gunships. And then the turret should be able to take it out, right? All right, so we're all over here. Turret, are you in range? Can you fire at those things? Not quite yet, not quite yet. But we can't really back up or else our stuff is going to get shredded by their their stuff. So I don't like that. Oh, this is tough. All right, retreat back a little bit more. AV cannon, start firing, please. Ooh, AV cannon shredding right now, actually. Nice job. All right, now the turret's able to fire. Okay, you guys come back, come back, come back. Protect the turret, protect the turret. Good, okay, the gunships are down. The gunships are down. You love to see it. You really love to see it. All right, oh, no, no, don't do that. Uh, okay, we can actually go ahead and get more reinforcements now, which is going to be beautiful. We're bringing the big tank now that the uh, gunships are down and they don't really pose much of a threat. Good, good stuff, boys. All right. Let's wipe out these AATs first things first, and then we can go after this infantry. Look how much droid infantry there is here. Oh, my God. A lot of you guys wanted me to uh, show off some more of the uh, standard uh, battle fare here. So here we go. You can watch our boys move on in here. Look at that. That is insanity. Yes. Nice job, boys. All right. I think we wiped them there. So now let's move in this way. We've also got that bombing run available, so we'll use that as soon as we can on a, on a large patch of enemies. And uh, that'll hopefully wipe a lot of them. That'll just do a lot of damage. Okay, they, they do have forces moving over this way too, so we'll actually move our largest tank over this way along with a little bit of infantry to help it out, you know? Oh, unit destroyed again. Oh no, we destroyed a unit. I thought we lost a unit. I was like, wow. We are sucking. All right, bring in that Y-Wing squadron right there. Oh, they, they built a couple of turrets here. They did get some fortifications up themselves. You hate to see it, but that's okay. All right, where are those Y-Wings? Here they come. Oh, it's going to be big. Oh, yeah. That was massive. God dang, dude. That was big Chungus plays. Absolutely gnarly there, brother man. Absolutely gnar gnar. Okay. Bring in these boys. We're going to take the, the point here. Oh, my God. Wipe out these turrets. Oh, AV cannon. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run away. Run away. Or you body block. Body block. Body block. I think we got away from it. Oh, take out that big turbo cannon. That's going to be important to take out right there. Um, do we need a repair station or back to? I don't think so. Not right now. Not right now. All right. Are we even taking this landing platform? Not quite yet. All right, we're slowly taking this thing out. Turbo laser cannon. It's getting hit. It's getting hit. Keep up the fire, lads. There you go. Nice job. And there's the landing zone. So now we can get more reinforcements in here. Let's get commandos. Why don't we bring in Delta Squad? Why don't we bring in another big Chungus and some clone trooper fodder right there? We like that. All right, all you lads now will come down this way. Nice, nice. Here they come. Here they come. The reinforcements coming in. All right. Zoom on in this way. Ooh, we do have another bombardment. Um. Oh, AV cannon. You are going way too far forward every time. We might actually lose that. Not the end of the world. All right. Use the bombardment here. Retreat, AV cannon. Retreat. Gosh dang it. It does not want to. There is that bombardment. Massive place. And there goes our AV cannon. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, we're actually getting attacked over here. What the heck? A little droid uh, droid force got around to us and started attacking our uh, anti-aircraft gun. Very strange. All right, well, these what it is. All right, take those out. Wipe them, boys. All right, now you guys go ahead and defeat them. Nice job. Good job. Okay. 
And we'll send Delta Squad that way. Why not? The lads, if you will. If you will. Take that out. Don't you take that out. We can focus different ships on different things. We can multitask here, boys. Beautiful. Alright, that thing's almost dead. We're close. There you go. Nice job. Alright, now this one. I'm telling you, the slow and steady... Uh, oh, they got a lot of reinforcements right there. Holy cow. Ooh, Delta Squad. Delta Squad not looking too hot. Oh, Lord. Ooh. I don't like what's going on here. Delta Squad is hurting. Um, why don't you guys thermal detonator these guys? Uh, maybe not. Come on, Delta Squad. Stay alive, buddy boys. We do not want to lose you. Okay. Our big tanks came in to save them a little bit in the back. We'd like to see that. Ooh. Our little ARC Trooper unit here is having a bit of trouble, too. Why are there so many enemies here? I'm going to send in the uh, bombers. All right. There's something over here? What's back here? Was there something over there? Could not tell, dude. All right. Here come the bombers. Come on. Hit them. Oh, did we miss? No, we didn't. Big Chungus. Look at that Chungus. It's so big. All right. Uh, you guys move this way. Yes, please. All right. There's what I was looking for. All right. Yeah, you guys took that out really quick. Oh, apparently we never destroyed that. That's the problem. All right, why don't you guys sprint to it? Go! 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 Make it there! All right, we're dealing with these guys over here. Moving in this way. All right, wait those guys out first, then go for the building. Finish that off. Sloppy. We're, we're being sloppy here. We need to be more, uh, more conscientious of what we're doing here. There we go. Taking him out. Taking him There we go. There's the victory. There's the Dubsky. That's what you like to see. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. All right. And they're retreating, too. That seems foolhardy. Okay. We took out two battle droid platoons, an AAT company, two gunship companies, crab droids, and commando droids. Uh, and we lost two clone trooper, or sorry, arc trooper companies, a little bit more expensive, and ATP, ATPT, and an AV-7. The AV-7 is like the most expensive out of all those, though. System That's definitely a bit of a loss right there. Um, but not too bad. All right, I would like to build those things here. I think having those material farms are actually really important. Excuse me, I got the hiccups and the burps and everything. Um, okay, build that there. Honestly, how do we not have Golon 1 at Coruscant? We can get a Golon 3 and a Golon 1. Build it, yeah. Coruscant is not worth messing around with. Like, we might as well just go ahead and... and Protect Coruscant as much as flipping possible, dude. That is, that is just so worth it. Also, here at Ebac, which we're probably not going to take all of these planets surrounding Ebac for quite some time. So we might as well build some defenses there as well, like serious defenses. Um, you know, even if we are sort of down a little bit in terms of cash because of those expenses, I think they're worth it because it solidifies sort of our base here. It solidifies our, um, our defensive base, which I think is very important. Um, I think what I'd like to... Ooh, we actually have bases here that we never built. Okay, we'll do that. Um, something I'd really like to do... Wow, we never built any of these bases. What? Why not? That is ridiculous. Alright. What I'd like to do, as I keep saying, is take, like, Nequivazor here, which actually still borders Coruscant. We might have taken Ferozed here, but we still never took that area. Uh, so that might be next up on the plate. We'll actually move the mega fleet back that way. Um, and then uh, this little tiny fleet can go join Empress Teta's mega fleet. Uh, and actually, the, this new largest ship that we got here, that we got last time around, we might actually keep this as a bit of a defensive fleet here. You know, it's not the most powerful, but it would be good for, like, responding to defensive threats. So that might be what we actually end up doing with that instead. Um, and then this... Our, our classic mega fleet, the OG one, can remain as our roaming sort of conquer fleet. I, I, I kind of like that idea. I think that's actually not too bad of an idea. Um, okay, a ton of construction is getting completed here, which is BEA beautiful, because uh, it means we're getting stuff done. Um, okay, and beyond that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. We actually, you know, it, we only took one planet, but oh my god, Karita. 
Where the heck is Karita? Oh, it's right here. We were just looking at that. Oh, that's an auto resolve if I've ever seen one. Yeah, bye bye. All right, rip Karita. Uh, and we will actually move uh, this to respond real quick before we end this episode. Let's go just drive off these guys with the Mega Fleet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it might not seem like we did a lot this episode, but we actually took a very important planet there. Uh, and we can actually auto-resolve that. Yeah, we didn't. They, they just left, so that's... We left? We retreated our forces? Okay, what? We're going to have to respond to that next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.